ground scan. The ground scan system is a completely new system in new mega detection devices with new and improved technology. This system helps the user to scan the ground and create a 2D visualization on the device screen or 3D visualization on any supported Android tablet via multi-visual analyzer app. This system can make searching and finding burials of underground cavities such as tunnels and basements easy for the user with greater speed and accuracy. Device installation. One, prepare the main unit and the shafts unit. Two, assemble the MGS-60 and the lower shaft using the specified screw and nut. Insert the middle shaft into the upper shaft. Three, mounting the main unit on the holder. Note, Make sure that the antennas unit are locked so that they are stable during use. Place the device main unit on the device holder on the shaft. Fit the main unit and the holder rail in parallel position. Place the main unit on the holder rail until you hear the lock pin sound. To suit the width of the main unit on the holder, there is an option that users can use. This option helps position the device on the holder rail so that users can see the display clearly. 1. Loosen the screw on the holder counterclockwise. 2. Fit the main unit to the preferred degree and close the screw again. 4. Connect the MGS cable to the base of the connector, the plug for probes. Connect the battery to the arm holder, armrest, with the battery clip in the specified position. Six, connect the battery to the device. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using the ground scan system, select it from the main menu. After selecting the ground scan system from the main menu, 
a new screen will appear to select the device on which the results will be displayed. There are two options, device and tablet. Selecting device in this list means that the user can see results directly on the device screen. Selecting tablet in this list means that the user can see the results on the tablet screen that came with the device that includes multi-visual analyzer application to display the results visually. Set up to display results on device screen. Scan mode. On this screen, the user can choose the scan mode and there are two options. One, manual mode. The user performs the scanning process manually. That is, he records measurements manually at each scan point. Two, automatic mode. In this case, the device will automatically scan the points without user intervention, as it scans the points automatically with an interval between each point. The user only has to press on start button at start of next scan line. To choose the appropriate scan mode, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press the OK button. Scan Path. On this screen, the user can specify the direction of the scanning path, which includes two options. One, one direction. The ground scan is performed for each line with the same direction, i.e. the direction of the scan is according to parallel lines and a distance between them. 2. Zigzag. In this case, the start of the next scan line is at the end of the previous scan line, while leaving an offset distance. Meaning that every two successive lines are scanned in an opposite direction. Select your preferred scan path mode using the left-right arrow buttons, then press the OK button. Scan Area Size. The user can choose the dimensions of a scanning area using this screen, which are width, lines. It's the number of scan lines and can be set using the up, down arrows. Then press the OK button. Height, steps. This number expresses the number of scanning steps or points for each line, and it can be changed by using the up, down arrows and then pressing the OK button. To understand the difference between lines and steps, look at the following figure. When the user stands straight in the search area, every step he takes forward is called a scan point or step. And every time the user moves to the left or right, it's called scan line, meaning he moves to a new scan line. Start point. Here, the user can specify the starting point of the scan within the area, and there are two options. Left. The start of the scan is in the lower left corner of the scanning area. Right. The start of the scan process is from the lower right corner of the scanning area. The location of the starting point can be selected using the left-right arrow buttons, then pressing the OK button. Scan. After completing all the previous settings, the user will see a screen showing the settings chosen through the previous steps. You can press the button at the bottom of the screen. Press OK to scan to actually start the scanning process. How to use. After the setup is complete, make sure the device is fully and correctly assembled. Hold the device in the following manner and make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving then stand on the zero or starting point in the scanning area and press the start button located under the handle of the device. Keep the MGS height steady while scanning at approximately a constant distance from the ground. Make sure to record the scan point at each point by pressing the start button in manual mode before moving to the next point. The minimum area of a rectangular scan area must be observed as it must be at least 3 by 3 meters in size, and it's preferable that the dimensions of the scan area be 3 by 3, 6 by 6, or 9 by 9, with a 30 centimeter distance between each scan point. If there is an uneven area of land, 
first clean the area and arrange it as flat as possible before performing the actual scan. Continue scanning step by step according to the scanning paths you selected, one direction or zigzag. After each line of the scanning process is completed, you'll see an alert on the screen which means you have to start a new scan line. Change your position to the beginning of the next line and then press the start button located under the handle of the device. On the screen appears a window that includes a grid of cells according to the number of lines and steps previously set. In the right pane, you can see information about the current step, current scan line, and numeric value of the probe during the scanning process. When the scanning process is completed, you'll see an alert on the screen stating that the scanning process is complete. Press OK to exit. During the scanning process, you'll see the color change of each cell of the grid. According to the current scan point, according to different colors, the user can know whether there is a target under the scanned ground or not by the color of each cell. The following is an explanation of the color connotations. Green, normal ground, soil. Light blue, a small space. Blue, voids and cavities, like a tunnel. Yellow, small pieces of metal. Red, gold, or other large pieces of metal. Scan file. The device includes a memory to save scan results as files. This means that the user can open a previous scanning process and redisplay and analyze the results at any time, even when the device is not in the original scanning area. You can choose the Scan Files option from the main menu, then press the OK button and a new screen appears. This screen includes a list of all the saved files that you can open and review. Use the arrow buttons to select the saved file, then press OK. Every time the user selects a file, a pop-up window appears with three options. Open. Select this option and then OK to open the saved file. Delete. Select this option to delete the current file. Cancel. Select to cancel opening the file and return to the file list. Grid lines. This option shows or hides the grid lines that represent the scanning area, where each cell represents one scanning step. Scan point. Choose a cell from the grid. Use this option to select a specific cell from the scanning area grid within the scanning results screen. After clicking on the search icon, use the arrow buttons on the button board to select a specific cell. To return to the scanning tools, press the back button. Note, the user can press the start button on each cell to display the exact result value for each of the MGS-60 built-in sensors on the result screen. Color filter. Use this option to hide or show the green color, representing normal ground. This is useful for showing areas of the scan that include metal targets or voids. At the bottom of the scan results screen, an information bar is displayed that includes several text fields that display information about the selected cell from the grid, making it easier for the user to analyze the results. Color ratios. The three color bars, red, green, blue, represent the percentages of each target type within the specified cell from the scan area. Average. This field represents an average value of all values in the detected points. Depth. When the selection is made on the cell, the depth value will appear in the lower information bar, and the user can see the depth in each cell with this option. On the other hand, this value represents the depth value in the selected cell on the results screen. 